Hello and welcome again. This is Vishnu Mahali, and in this video, I'm going to change the footer of my website with Thrive Architect, not actually Thrive Architect, uh, Thrive Theme Builder. And it is already connect. Uh, I mean, it is Thrive Architect Lite in a way. So both Thrive Theme Builder and Thrive Architect. Recently, I switched my personal website to the new uh, TTB companion theme that is called Omi. So I switched to Omi, and I have to make some changes in my footer area and I'll show you guys the process of doing it. So I'll share my screen right now over here and I will show you how it's done. Let's go to my website first of all. So this is my personal website which I haven't been using since a long time but now I have decided to use it. So let's do it. So this uh, this is my personal website over here and as you can see the logo needs to be white here and maybe these social logos as well are uh, not so important but maybe and these i want to obviously these are default links of the theme and i would like to remove them obviously and maybe place something else and i don't want to share the address and email id over here so i will make those changes and i will show you guys because I've been using these tools since a long time, but I've never shared any tutorials or anything about it. I was always recommending it passively, but I've, I've never made any video, practical video about it. So in this video, we are going to break that pattern. So I just went to Thrive Dashboard and I'll find global elements over here. By the way, you can also do the same by going to Thrive Team Builder option. I don't know why I came here, but maybe just muscle memory. So here you can find the footer option as you can see over here. Okay, now I'm confused which one is selected right now. Oh, uh, this one maybe, let's see. So it will open with Thrive Architect at the time of editing, but it is part of TTB, Thrive Theme Builder. So it will not only affect this page, but all the pages of my website. So yeah, okay. I don't think this is the one. So this is something Thrive Themes can improve. The active one should look a little bit different. Maybe this one, but I'm not so sure. Let's have a look at the original site. Okay, so this is the design. None of this is making sense because no design is matching the same. As you can see, default footer for commerce, default footer for safe shift. Okay, I'm not using safe to shift. So this is not that one for sure main footer probably so maybe this is the one default footer for omni i guess so let's open this yes so this is the one that is active on my website as you can see over here and now i'll make some changes first of all let's change this logo and i want this one over here okay the light version the dark version i need to change it to light version full size nope thumbnail size Okay, it happened. It took some time, but it happened as you can see. Now it is showing the white logo over here. Let's change the color for social media icons as well. Probably I would like to include Pinterest and Twitter as well. Okay, there are so many links over, right, over here right now. Let's remove at least one of them. Okay, I'll probably remove Pinterest. Okay, that is it. I will choose the color over here and I will go with the color no, I'm not so sure right now, but let's just select any color for right now. I want to select original colors actually. Let's disable the custom branding and then I will have the original colors. Okay, for me this is better. And I want this to be centered. Let's do that. Okay, it's done. I just clicked on this icon over here. And for now, I would like to remove this probably. I have no idea what to put here as of now. Yeah, I'll probably remove it. Contact details, maybe not. Okay, I would like to remove it completely. So the column, I would like to delete the column. Now there is only two columns and it is looking bad to be honest. Okay, for now I, I'll delete everything over here. And over time, I will add up things. And I want it to be centered right now. Okay, so so follow, now the logo, done. So, this is the simple footer that I'll be using right now. Now I'll control 
uh, pre press Control S to save this footer area. That's it. And now let's refresh my page over here. And here it is, the new footer area with just a few clicks and doing some drag and drop thing. And the footer is ready, almost ready. I don't want this privacy policy link over here but it is an important thing so i'll just keep it for for now and later i will customize it more to look more professional i guess or probably let's do it right now i think yeah this would look a little bit better terms of service by the way you can always dynamically link your text over here, global fills. I'm going to choose double service over here and it's done. I just need to inherit the color and it's done. Let's put something in between them. Now it's looking better. I would like to put parenthesis over here and I will make it dynamic. That is the current year. So I'll select year from here and this will automatically generate the current year. Okay, I'm pretty much convinced that I, that I will keep this photo at least for now. So let's save it again, control S, sorry about the dogs. So as you can see, it was uh, really, really easy. By the way, if you want to use Thrive Architect, the link will be available in the description. I will make some more changes on this website as I am building it right now. So I'm thinking I would probably record all these videos where I'll be customizing this website and share with you guys. Meanwhile, you can go ahead and purchase Thrive Architect or Thrive Shoot, to be honest, and you will get multiple themes and plugins that are super awesome. And I highly recommend it for $19 a month, which is very, very reasonable. Actually, pretty good. So go ahead. The link will be available in the description. And right now I have only one post over here and I will be editing this page as well. It's my blog template probably. So I'll make more videos about it. So please uh, hit the subscribe button if you don't want to miss those videos. Thank you so much for watching.